Hi there. Have you ever been exposed to the concept of upside down thinking? It's metaphysical. It's um, illuminating when you begin to understand a little bit how upside down thinking works. I was first exposed to it when I was in my early 20s and I started studying that guy Gurdjieff. You know, I had been seeking, seeking, seeking. I wasn't getting the answers I wanted by going to the church that I'd gone to as a young person. Um, it was a Protestant congregational church. You know, heard all the great stories about Jesus, but I never really felt like I was getting um, an insight into where God was until I moved along later in life and had some revelations and transcendent experiences that assured me that there really is divine intelligence governing the universe. It's in me, it's in you, it's in everyone. But upside down thinking is something that um, we practice before we wake up because we're programmed. And, um, you know, Gurdjieff was one of those who traveled the world seeking out answers, meeting lots of people and started his own school in order to teach people to wake up, he called it the work. And um, there have been many great mystics and teachers out there who have understood that the way we think is upside down until we wake up. I remember one time I had this um, TV crew on flight and I got into a conversation with one of the producers about the news, they were a news crew. And because I'd had my own little awakening, um, I realized that programming is a big part of what makes us operate the way we do. So I said to him, well, if, the news was positive, more positive than negative, we'd probably be living in a much different society and people wouldn't get as depressed about things. When they hear bad news, of course it affects them. And um, so I had a little conversation about that. He got very, very agitated and angry at me. I was threatening him because many times as upside down thinkers, if it rocks the boat, if it rattles our cage, when someone introduces a different idea, we reject it, we um, repel it because we don't wanna hear it. We've been doing things a certain way, maybe it's our livelihood. And um, when someone introduces an inverted way, which might be more agreeable even, it's resistance, total resistance. But if you're an upside down thinker, which of course the mystics have always said, the majority of mankind are followers and sheep and asleep. You know, I'm not the only one that's noticed that. Napoleon Hill was one that wrote books about it. Jesus was trying to wake people up with his teachings. And um, it's been going on forever. But in order to become someone who has the way of thinking that works the right way, you have to really go within and analyze how you're approaching problems, situations in your life. Do you automatically default to the negative or do you try to solve the problem by getting above it and seeing it in a different light? We can um, always find a solution if we want to get above it there's always a solution. I see it happen all the time with people. But um, upside down thinking is the old Newtonian science in that the universe is like a big machine. Quantum physics is more the inversion of that where you begin to understand that we live in a mental spiritual universe. Consciousness is supreme over matter. Matter isn't even real once you really dig into that and study what the brilliant physicists and metaphysical people have come up with. So if you want to be a thinker who thinks through things and can see things the way they are, you almost have to reverse so many things that come up in life. You have to look below the surface and say, what is driving that? What is the motivation? And look at things from many different levels to find out if you're thinking upside down or if you're using your mind to solve the problems that come upon you in life. Right now, we're looking at a time when um, 
people are easily being manipulated by the media and governments to do what they want them to do. But there are many people who are breaking free and saying, no, I want to be able to think for myself, make my own decisions and um, invoke my divine authority over my life, which is your God-given birthright.